Conservancy Kids, my name is Jenny and I'm the Ecoflora Coordinator for the Metro Phoenix Ecoflora Project and today we're going to learn about biodiversity and where you can find it. So the Sonoran Desert where we live is one of the most biodiverse places on earth. Each different living thing uh, contributes to biodiversity. So each different flower or mushroom or cat is a different species and there are said to be about 9 million species on earth. Here in the Sonoran Desert alone, we're said to have between two and 4,000 plant species. That's a lot of different living things. So all of these living things and biodiversity contribute to ecosystem health. Ecosystems are the way these living things are connected to and interact with their environment, right? So like the way plants use water and sunlight to grow and rabbits come along and eat those plants. So we can think of this kind of like a bicycle, right? If we start taking parts of a bike away, eventually you can't ride your bike anymore. Well, ecosystems and biodiversity work the same way. All these things work together so that we have food to eat, the climate regulates, and we have a healthy planet. Well, biodiversity is good for people too. Think about what you may have eaten today. Maybe you had an apple or an orange. Well, those are different plant species. We also need shade trees to keep us cool. So we need this biodiversity to live. Now, when we build urban areas and neighborhoods, sometimes we take away habitat. The habitat is where all of this biodiversity has a place to live. So even though we take away habitat at times, the good news is we can still find a lot of biodiversity in urban areas. And we can also add to biodiversity, right? We can plant plants, we have parks like the one I'm in right now, and we can make our yards wildlife friendly, we can protect the existing habitat. So there's lots of things we can do to add to or protect biodiversity. And by taking care of biodiversity, we're also taking care of ourselves. So I have a few challenge questions for you. Take a look outside close to where you live. How can you find biodiversity? How many different plants can you find where you live? Where do you see plants growing, in the sidewalk or the soil? Can you find any animals, birds, or bugs? Is there maybe a relationship between the number of different plants you found and the number of different creatures you saw? What could this relationship be? Take a walk outside and see what you can find using SEEK as your scientific tool of discovery and document your observations. Don't worry if you can't use SEEK, Go ahead and grab your science notebook to write down what you find. You can use identification resources online and in guidebooks to help you figure out what you've discovered. When you start to look for it, you can see that biodiversity is all around us.